Gasna bakuta ni ka audio no mbade njagala mposing your question. Gwaulira. What is the purpose? Or what is the main reason? Ruachi government ya Uganda ebe yagala enkola gana enunji ne government ya Rwanda. Oba let me put it this way. Ruachi government zikola chonna chezino kola. Zirabenga NC especially NC sharing a border zibanga zili in good relations. I'm going to talk about Rwanda and uh, Uganda. So I'm going to I'll be speaking about these two presidents. For example, Museveni okubera ngaina relations enunji ne Kagame if they are good friends. That relationship is completely useless to me as a Ugandan or a Rwandese if these two countries cannot make business. Why am I saying this? It's been three months now. Biba Debiaka Kakana just recently. Neba propaganda especially ba muhoz project baba denga batendereza muhozi ni ba praising ngabaga amanti he was the man who reinforced diplomatic relations between Uganda and Rwanda because we all saw muhoz going in Rwanda i think two times and then kagame came on his birthday and muhoz got all the praise and people who praised him ngoje koko ba propagandist ba muhoz project are the people who wanted to do business with Rwanda because actually if the relationship is good between Uganda and Rwanda Uganda makes more money if trade and commerce is going on if the relations are good so abantu banji basanyuka ngojeko these propagandists nina abantu abagalo kola business ni Rwanda and that's why Muhoz was praised but Charlie Chiwany why am I saying that Charlie Chiwany because it's been 3 months now and I've been reading through an article on Daily Monitor guess what I found abantu wasinga temusoma mauli de muzo kubanga you even didn't know about this guess what I found let me read for you the headline on the Daily Monitor Ugandan goods still blocked by Rwanda ebya maguzi bya Uganda tebiyingira mu Rwanda still blocked by Rwanda ulida according to traders Ugandan goods are still being denied entry into Rwanda 3 months since the reopening of the border between the two countries according to traders Rwanda does not allow Ugandan manufactured goods or agricultural produce to cross its border despite reopening the border in March it's been 3 months but what is surprising i want you to hear this no ugandan manufactured goods or agricultural produce has ever been allowed to cross into rwanda it is only passenger vehicles and cargo trucks that are carrying trans goods from kenya kolabo ejogolino that are carrying trans goods from kenya that are allowed to cross from uganda through katuna gatuna border the chairperson of Katuna Traders Association Mr Franco Corinaco told Del Monitor in an interview on Wednesday Before I proceed let me try to translate for you this Kuva border ya Uganda ne Rwanda weza gulibwao emyeze satu emabega in March Tewali wo bya maguzi bya Uganda byo nabi kirizibwa kuyingira mu Rwanda se ebintu ebiri manufactured already made products teziyingira mu Rwanda ne agriculture ebirime agriculture produce products nebirime nebitu byingira Rwanda ochulira kibabi kiriza kusala kuyingira Rwanda after 3 months eranga chia person wakatuna traders association ku boda yagambye daily monitor neke nyini tamanyi but ever since boda weza gulibwao Tewali bya maguzi bya Uganda bikirizibwa kuyingira Rwanda ne ulira kino naye passenger vehicles e motoka za abantu passenger ngate muli bya maguzi zikirizibwa kuyingira Rwanda the most stupid thing nti stupid in terms of Uganda okumanyira e motoka is carrying a cargo okuva e Kenya zijja ngazi ise mu Uganda makuru ga Uganda zone zigende Rwanda niziyingira bulunji nyo kasteli bintu byanga biva Kenya bita mu Uganda nibiyingira Rwanda na ye bintu ebikolidwa mu Uganda tebiyingira Rwanda story ke yongira maso Rwandan authorities also discourage their nationals from buying foodstuffs from Uganda by imposing on them heavy taxes they return back home with for example a Rwandan national that buys a piece of pineapple in Uganda at 1000 shillings is forced to pay tax of 2000 at the border security agencies or Rwandan authority bako lacho na ekisoboka balabenga bale mesa abanya Rwanda okubake ekintu cyo nache bagula ngakikolewa obanga kirimibwa mu Uganda for example omunya Rwanda wabanga aguze enanas just enanas emubwetinga ajiguze lukumi ku border bamuteka ko omusoro 
Gwanku mibiri Tiwale montuye na jakubanga Agule na naseyo Nijukila Rwanda is in East Africa After these relationships were restored As they claimed As they blind folded us Remember there is a free customs unity treaty That was endorsed by the East African countries To trade without restrictions Kakati Wenjagalo pozi ngile chibuzo wano Why were these propagandists? Why were they praising Muhozi? Muhozi chiche njini chiyakola? Muhozi okume nanga mkwano guwa kagame? Musevi ni okume nanga mkwano guwa kagame? Techina wichi mbenefiti ngilanganze umu na Uganda. Abantu abasa nyuka. Tebasa nyuka uwokubu uliya zeku birthday ya Muhozi. Neda. Abantu abasa nyuka bagamba. Eh, tuwa tukula business ni Rwanda. Kubanga Uganda. Yesingo kutunde bintu. E Rwanda. Abana Uganda tibagula nyo bintu Rwanda. Because everything that is in Rwanda. Mu Uganda tuina. Abana Rwanda beba singe nyo. Beba libe tagise nye bintu vya wa. E bintu vya Uganda. That means. Wutubanga tutunda nyo. Fetu singo kufuna mu. People were not happy because Muhozi ni kagame yoba mseven nekagame ba mkwano tebi tu ya ambebio it's completely useless to us what we can only benefit from is trade is free commerce and that's why all countries struggle and do whatever they do they make all the sacrifices kubanga tuagala trade omuntu wabili juta ya gala kumanya obaba kule mbezebe kubida kumasimu nebebu zako nebagamba happy birthday wasuzotia that is none of our business fabantu wabili jo all we can benefit all we want is to trade is to make money business so that means if we cannot sell anything to Rwanda it is useless it is still the way it was the relationship does not exist actually it's funny nti omuntu wagule nana mu Uganda mu Rwanda gule nana mu Uganda webaya kuyingira e Rwanda ngajiguze shilling 10 bamuteka ko musola tegwa 12 atike gamba Rwandese authorities they doing whatever it takes so that they discourage abambi abazo kugula yo buguzi abanya Rwanda niyo mu Uganda wabanga atwala bintu byamaguzi ku kugenda ku bitunda Rwanda icho cho ebyo te biyingira ebyo byo te biyingira neka because abantu babuli jaba takola business boba kirizo kuyingira no kufuruma neba making a sure nti omunya Rwanda wabaze mu Uganda taina cha maguzina chimu cha atwala Rwanda that means this relationship is completely useless kati au praise mhozi yafuna zali zaachi one of the things he talked about on his birthday his achievements he restored diplomatic relations you know between these two countries when kugambi diplomacy is completely useless if the countries cannot make money if the countries cannot trade if there is no commerce the relationship is completely different gasia useless kakati the question is what diplomacy that muhoz restored we need these people to come out and talk and tell us what is kind of diplomacy is it useless to us we can only benefit from trade actually right now i'm surprised that mps are not talking about this what was restored what kind of diplomacy that muhoz traveled using taxpayers money a private jet or why it was a presidential jet what did he go to restore Niba propagandis niba jaya agendo kudamu ntewe ya ziza wo this diplomacy Diplomacy eri wa nga Uganda cannot trade Uganda fetwe taga trade ni Rwanda ukusinga Rwanda Because abanya Rwanda bayine bintu bintu nyo bibi taga mu Uganda Bana Uganda bayine bintu bintu nyo bibi taga wa bibi taga Rwanda If this is open Uganda benefits more It's not allowed I'm going to still ask a question Diplomacy chi mohozi jiaza wo if there is no trade you can go and read the full article on the Daily Monitor. The article was written on the 1st of July. If you have answers, you can answer me in the comments. I'll try to reply to you. Bagalanyo. Peace.